Hello, this is Rezorat from Radicat. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hierarchy in Power BI and how to use it in a visualization, what it is and how we can work with it. Let's see how it works. So what is a Power BI hierarchy? To understand a Power BI hierarchy, First, let's assume an example. Let's say, uh, let's say we have a hierarchy of items like this, uh, that the first level is a category, which is bike. Then the second level is subdivision of the bikes, like bike can be road bike or mountain bike. Um, and then each of these can be subdivided into different products as well. Um, so if we consider this as uh, as a category, the first one as a category, the second one is subcategory, the third one is product. Now this is a hierarchy of three levels, but you can have hierarchies of 10 levels or more. Uh, you can also have a hierarchy of one level, but it is quite uh, not common to create that because it would make sense to at least have two levels of hierarchies. This hierarchy is not just for category, subcategory. It can be also for the dates. Uh, for example, um, year, month, day is another uh, example of a hierarchy. Year, week uh, of the year, day, number of the week is again another example. There are tons of different examples of how a hierarchy can be uh, can be defined in a concept of values across multiple fields. Now to go through an example here, I have a Power BI table a dim product, which has these three columns in it, product, product category, and subcategory. And I want to create a hierarchy, which category is the first level, subcategory second, product is the third level. You can create that hierarchy simply here by starting by just right click on the field that you want to be the first level of the hierarchy. For example, the category, you can right click on it and say create hierarchy. This will create a hierarchy uh, with the name of that field plus hierarchy beside it. You can rename it if you want to, but I will just leave it like that. And an icon for the hierarchy and also a button that you can expand. When I expand it, you see that I have now two category fields here, one here and one uh, as a standalone, one under the hierarchy which is this hierarchy, another is a standalone. This doesn't mean that you have a copy of the field or extra memory consumed or anything like that. This is basically just a reference to that original, original column. Now to add more columns to this hierarchy, you can simply either just drag and drop them on top of the hierarchy like this, or you can right click on it and say add to hierarchy and choose the hierarchy that you want. This for example, add subcategory and I add product also in the same way. And this is how simple you can create the hierarchy. Uh, you can rename it as I mentioned, you can reorder these if you want, for example, one to be on top of the other, uh, you can reorder them as well. Uh, and you can expand or collapse the hierarchy like this. This hierarchy is then useful to be added in a visualization very simply. For example, I can create a visual showing the sales amount. And then if I just drag and drop that hierarchy into here, it automatically adds all of those fields at the same time. So it has category, subcategory and product. And because of that, it comes with all of these drill down and drill up options, which I explained that in another video, go and check the link down in the description below, which will guide you there. Uh, this will give me the ability to drill down, drill up or have the selective drill down uh, and drill up so that I can do some data exploration. So this hierarchy is quite helpful for me to do that. You can also, if you want to just drag a specific field of the hierarchy, but normally when we have a hierarchy, we'll add the hierarchy itself. So that is a hierarchy and how to create it. But uh, is this the only way you can use hierarchy? No, you can also create hierarchy um, in the visual. Just to show you how it can be done in a visual, I create another column chart here. This time, instead of adding that hierarchy, I would add those fields like category into the axes. Uh, let me also bring sales amount as the value. 
uh, then subcategory I just drag it under this field sorry I, I mean the subcategory from not from the hierarchy here so it comes right under that field then product right under that so I would still get the hierarchy I have these drill down option ex everything that I had with the normal hierarchy I have it like this as well this is what I call a visual hierarchy this hierarchy is just created in the visual like here in the axis by just dragging and dropping these on a under order that it works for them the other one is the hierarchy is created in the model i added that to the visual so this is a visual hierarchy versus model hierarchy i would definitely suggest you to create model hierarchies because when you create it here then you can use it in any visuals it would be uh, consistent instead of going to every single visual and remember which level was first which level was second uh, you can do that easily using that hierarchy it gives you better um, consistency across your report that is why I say model hierarchy is better so uh, that is uh, that is a tip about that another thing about hierarchy which is important the best practice is that when you create a hierarchy it is quite common to hide the original columns of the hierarchy you cannot delete them because this is hierarchy based on those but if you have these then if someone comes and search for category they will see one category here and one category here the report user will be confused it is quite common that when we have this situation the original columns we go and hide them uh, either from here one by one or you can go to the model tab there's a much easier way to do it by selecting them using control key and once you selected them all you can set is hidden and they are all hidden now when you go to the report tab it is much more uh, simple and more understandable uh, to find out what other columns are good candidate to be hidden check out again the link to my video from the description below there is also a default hierarchy called date hierarchy whenever you have a date field and there is a property in power bi options and settings which says auto uh, date and time auto time intelligence if that feature is enabled which is this one then power bi will create a, a date table behind the scene for each date field and that date table will have a hierarchy and that is the hierarchy of that date table year quarter month day this is by default created if you use that feature if you use if you don't use that then you can have a custom date table and create any types of hierarchy you want like fiscal hierarchy weekly hierarchy any other hierarchies i hope this video helped you in your power bi report requirements if you have any questions feel free to put it in the comments below if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel we have weekly videos on power bi thank you